Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're looking at Bohemia. Uh, and Bohemia is an imported beer. It's from Mexico. It was started in 1905. It's 4.7% alcohol. And it's, um, the IBUs are 21. 150 calories, so it's a little yeah. heavier than normal. But um, they're saying that uh, they use imported Czechs, Czech hops. So, uh, yeah, this falls along the lines of the uh, partial kind of German purity laws. Yet yeah, they use corn in this. They add corn as an adjunct. And they, right. uh, it's from Monterey, Mexico. The best buy date is June of next year, 2020. And so. All right. And we both had this beer in the past. Uh, I've, I've actually drank it through the years. So it's, it's a very good beer. I don't get it all the time. Um, but it is very tasty. It's smooth. It's a really great Pilsner. I'm, you know, I put it up there with some of the top ones I've had, just just by past tastings. Uh, so this one is fairly fresh, you think? Or oh yeah, the best set? by date is June of next year. Uh, it probably just came out, and it's June uh, of next year. And yeah, it's it, pretty amazing is that you'll never get a best by date on any American beer like that. And here we are in October, and today we could say it's it's going to be good for for. Uh, Nine months. We don't yeah. know when it was made. It's best we're, made. We're hoping best, it's fresh. Yeah, the best is probably like I don't know, a year. So it works out pretty good. It's got the Master Brewer's signature on it. Yeah. And one thing more, the the hops come from the Czech Republic. And in 1905, when this company was started or this brand of beer was started, Bohemia, it was the old name of the Czech Republic. It was the Kingdom of Bohemia. So, oh, we don't. So okay, they know that. Yeah. A little history lesson today. Kingdom of Bohemia. All right. So it, it smells good. It's you can smell those those grassy kind of European hops that are going on here. How about the appearance? Just standard appearance gold. Appearance is gold. A little hazy. Golden. I wouldn't say it's standard gold. It's slightly hazy. That could yeah, be, look at all the sediment. Well, that that could, the the slight haziness that we're dealing with could be the fact that, that it's cold and there's like a little like condensation on the glass maybe. Yeah, and it's also not. It, there's yeah, a I lot think of it's chunks. It's clear. It's not that filtered. No, I'm not really checking out chunks. Okay, now what are we saying about the beer? Aluminum? And if you look at the alcohol lacing, of course, with beers, or the, or the way that the uh, bubbles or the foam sticks to the side of the glass. Yeah, the foam lacing. So you, you can tell this is a well put together beer. It's rich. Ah, uh, yes, it is. It's a very good beer. And the alcohol content isn't that high. So for yep. a tasty beer with not a whole lot of calories and a great taste, that yep. sure beats Miller Lite. Well, that was their <laughs> slogan back in the day. At 4.7, that's a good sessional. Sessionable. It's grain in the aroma. Pale malt, grain, and grass. I skipped all that one straight to the taste. Mm. So you get a graininess to it. Grassy hops. Grassy hops. You taste that kind of corn. The one I would like to get is their winter bock called the... Uh, Bueno Noche, it's a, um, like a six point something percent dark beer, but I've only mm. seen it once in Louisiana. I haven't seen it since. I have to check the distributor so you can get it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um, clean, 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 pale malt, a little grassy hops. Uh, it's, a, it's got a light taste to it, too. Light to medium body and a crisp finish. It's kind of like the Mexican version of Michelob. <laughs> It's, very, you know, good. Like a, a it's a very good beer. Um, and we get it basically at bargain prices around here because, I don't know, people like to drink other beers that aren't so great. I bought this um, at World Market. And World Market has a lot of Mexican beers, a lot of German beers. Yeah, if, if, you, sh if you shop your, your stores around here, you can get it for like seven fifty. Right. But most most places are selling it for eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. And nine, nine but, fifty. But if you want to try a variety, you can go to Walmart or other stores. They've got the beers of Mexico, and this is part of the variety pack right now. And that, that you might find it for thirteen ninety nine. Hmm. This is part of this is included in it right now. This and the Dos Equis, uh Lager Especial, the Tecate Light, and the uh, Carta Blanca. So, 
yeah, I've always, I've always liked Bohemia. It goes so well with Mexican food. I drank a bottle of it in uh, one of those Mexican towns with a good meal at a restaurant. Uh, I think it was Arturo's restaurant. It was so good, yeah. So what do you score this one? Solid egg. It's well put together. I'm saying 95 out of 100 because it's so pleasant. It's like no off aromas. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's well put together. Uh, the flavor that's there is just consistent. Um, getting a little slight bitterness from the hop. That might be the only unpleasantness that you would taste. It's almost like it's kind of bitey a little bit. Uh, and it's a little grainy uh, harshness going on. But that also might be from the hop. I'm not picking so, up any negative, but uh, what, did you, what was your number? Or you just said eight? Well, I have a clean palate, so my palate's been cleaned, I would say. What is that? Oh, it's a lizard. <laughs> I would give this probably 93. 93, so 93 and 95 are the averages, averages to 94 for us. So there's uh, Moctezuma, Quartamoc Moctezuma. Uh, so... Um, we do want to get, we, we, we're telling this company, listen to us, we want to get your wheat beer, although I know you don't care for wheat beers, and we want to get that Bueno Noche. That I'll be interested in the Bueno Noche. Yeah. So, les et les bon temps relay, thanks for watching our video production, and we're going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Let the good times roll.